Hey everyone, and welcome to Murder by Numbers. So, in the last episode, we learned a lot more about Honor and her dad and her mom and everything doing with Honor's past. But although I really like that and I'm all here for it, I also can't wait to jump back into the case itself because I want to know what happened to Stanford. Mostly, I want to know if I was right. Also, there was entirely not enough scout in that episode, let's be honest here. And I think we only had one puzzle or something, so definitely lacking in that department. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, here we are. We did have Becky last episode, so that was great. We also discovered that the pink, uh, the pink hot 4x4 is hers. Which should not have come as a surprise. I, I, I feel dumb for that one. Um, I think we're going to move. No clue to where though. Let's go into the dressing room, see what happens. Okay, back to the crime scene at last. It'll be easier to search a place now that Cross isn't breathing down our necks. Understood, setting scan mode to high resolution. Okay, oh, we're going to get puzzles now. Yes, I, I'm getting what I asked for. Oh, there we go, first puzzle. Straight off the bat, let's go! I'm kind of terrified at how difficult this is turning out to be for me. Oh no, I thought it would be a little easier. We're still in case two. What's left? Wow, that was left. Okay, what did we find? A PDA dock. We also, we have a PDA. So is it dock for like charging, I guess? So maybe we can... Or maybe it's the cable to connect to the scout. It'll be helpful, I guess. Whoa, it's a... <laughs> what is it? It's a dock for the PDA we found earlier. Good news, it provides a serial interface, which means I can use this to access the PDA. Okay, that's all I need to know. I just need a moment to break the password protection. Hacker man, hacker man, hacker man. Oh! Another puzzle. Oh, it's time. Oh no, stress. Oh, oh dear. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. I'm not stressed. You are stressed. I'm not stressed. I think we should be able to do it in, in the time that's provided. If I see how quickly I'm going through it, I think I should be... Yeah, I should be fine. Okay. Uh, yep. Oh, I have performance stress so much. Oh dear. Yup. And the last one. Um. Yep. Done. Hacking complete. I feel awesome now. I'm in. I have full access to Dick's files. Did we establish that PDA's one was his? Because I don't remember. <laughs> Great. Was he working on anything recently? There is a spreadsheet file. Last added it earlier today. Oh. Ooh, that's uh, disturbing. Best new comedy. $26,500. Off. Wait, is that dollars? That doesn't feel like dollars. Because dollars has like two stripes, right? And all the way through the S. Anyway. $26,500 money <laughs> off the grid paid best actor graham nana paid best actress sarah o'hara paid oh i mean the more innocent version of this is that he gambled but i don't think it's going to be innocent i think that people paid him to win a prize so like sarah o'hara paid him 30,760 to receive the award for best actress which probably means that Becky totally deserved to win <laughs> and I'm also glad to not see Becky here <laughs> because uh, that would ruin my image of her completely but Becky does not seem like the type because she's berating us for not working hard to get where we are so wow Stanford huh they're all Starshine Award winners. Dick must have been taking bribes for the awards committee. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Honor, 
there is one more murder mystery disqualification 50,000 pave this is based on nothing but his personality so far but I this reeks of Ryan <laughs> I don't know why but it feels like Ryan does not want murder mystery to win it anyway because we are associated with it that's just completely baseless conjecture what this also reminds me of is the first case um, in which I don't remember his name our friend <laughs> our friend got murdered our boss and friend because he didn't want to boot us off the show well he did boot us off the show but he wasn't really like compliant with it um, so our the murder of him happened because of us because of us being on the show and now murder mystery the entire show is disqualified from getting an award so there's definitely someone with a lot of money who is paying a lot of money to make our life specifically miserable and it's not just any us anymore because it's uh, everyone who works on the show that's being put down by this because they're working pretty hard i'd assume but it must it I mean, I don't want to say it's Ryan, but I think it's Ryan. <laughs> but I, I, it has to be someone who has like a major grudge against the show and against us specifically because they wanted us off the show. So I feel like whoever paid these 50,000 also pay. Oh my, oh my goodness. I just realized that Ryan had a check for 50,000 in his wallet because we confirmed it's his wallet and there was a check of 50,000 oh i'm so right i am so gosh darn right ryan is paying off stanford to not have us get any award at first it was about us about us being booted off the show but now they're just disqualifying the show altogether which also puts down becky and i don't stand for that because becky is the best actress that has ever actressed okay let's let's move on because ah man i'm invested Ooh. Someone paid 50,000 to disqualify us? Who? There is no name here, obviously. There we go. But didn't Brian pay that exact amount to anonymous bank account? I think it's time we had a talk with my ex-husband. Oh, we're going to confront him and I love it. Should we investigate if there's more? Because I feel like there should be more than just one puzzle, right? Oh, oh, Stanny has a puzzle for us. Nope. Okay, let's just do the puzzle. So even though this puzzle is way bigger than previous puzzle, it's a lot easier. Huh. I wonder how badly it is going to escalate between Ryan and Honor. Like, it could very well be that he reveals his evil mastermindness already and he just freaking smacks us unconscious and like kidnaps us or something it, it could very well go very very wrong here and i'm excited i'm not gonna lie okay i think i'm almost done yep what is that a briefcase oh it has like depth depth to it Ooh, detective rank B. B from best. Ooh, I like the sound effects here. There's a bunch of letters here from Dick's lawyers. Cease and desist. LLP. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> Cease and desist. LLP. I wonder if... Dick was trying to stop someone from going to the press about him. It's right here in these letters. Do you think this is related to the rumors in Celeb Life magazine? It must be. It says the guy's name was Alex Costa. Okay. He accused Dick of being abusive and intimidating. Based on our interaction with him, that sounds accurate. <laughs> Sustained verbal abuse over a period of many years. Volatile, ill-tempered, created a hostile work environment. So did I get this right that Alex Costa is making these accusations? Or he's just the writer of the article in Celeb Life? 
because if if the person that is doing these accusations is anonymous, I a hundred percent know who this is. That must be Kathleen. No wonder he wanted to go to the press. If this is true, Dick would have made Becky seem like an angel. Everyone who worked with him must have known about this. Why was he allowed to keep his job? He must have had something, right? It's easy money, yeah. No TV network wants to hire, fire their biggest star. It's easier just to make sh sure nothing ever goes public. Well, that, and he's a powerful man in a city run by powerful men. You can be sure Kathleen wouldn't have gotten away with being so difficult. Right. Although, <laughs> yeah, she's right, but that doesn't mean that Kathleen is not being difficult. Even a little murdery, maybe? But these files say someone was trying to tell the truth. That it would mi that would make it hard to ensure it never went public. Yep, and Dick called in his lawyers to shut them down. Do you think you could... That could drive someone to murder? Possibly. Sounds like a possible motive to me. We should see if anyone knows this Alex Costa guy. Maybe it's a pseudonym. Hmm. Our two prime suspects. Interesting. Well, I still think Bobby did it. He's got the motive, the opportunity. Is poison his style? He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to think that far ahead. You don't know Bobby like I do. He's being called again. Excuse me, that's my agent calling. Okay, so we're alone with you now, huh? Wait. You're... You're back this fast? Interesting. I'll try Kathleen first. <laughs> that, that is weird. That is very weird. How's the investigation going? Is it true Bobby got released already? It looks like Bobby didn't kill Dave. It's true, Bobby didn't kill Dick. He just thought he did. I have to say, I'm surprised. It sounded like you had the case all wrapped up. We thought so too, until we found out Dick was poisoned. We should not be telling her that. Oh my goodness. Now we're back to square one. Poisoned? But... It's not really my place to say, but... Just because Bobby admitted to strangling Dick doesn't mean he didn't poison him too. That makes no sense, lady. If he knew he had poisoned him, why even strangle him, you know? Poisoning. Can you think of any way Dick might have been poisoned before he got on stage for his award? I'm sorry, I don't know where he was before the presentation. Have you checked his dressing room? Okay. Um, I don't really want to show her anything, to be honest. I'll, I'll try a couple things. Oh! The first one already. Uh, Jackpot, huh? Did you know Dick was taking bribes to rig the Starshine Awards? What? That's terrible. I have no idea. Do you think that's why he was killed? Okay. Uh, is this yours? 40 years without a drink? You should be very proud. I haven't even been alive that long. Of course. I'm so sorry. You don't look a day over 35. <laughs> I'm 29. This medallion actually belonged to Dick. Really? He never mentioned it. For a man of his age and temperament, I always assumed... Well, doesn't matter now. Dick was trying to block a guy called Alex Costa from talking to the press. Apparently Dick was a real piece of work off camera. I wonder if she's going to admit to it. That doesn't surprise me. And it also it's a question of who leaked those rooms to Celeb Life. So it's true. I suppose there's no sense in trying to hide it anymore. He's dead now anyway. Also, I was very subtly hinting at it in my speech. <laughs> the truth is, Dick was always kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> difficult to work with. He hated the idea of a woman coming onto his show, but the network insisted. I put up with a lot for the sake of my career. Did you know Alex Costa? We'd like to speak to him. Sorry, I haven't I haven't kept in contact with anyone from the show. It's a time I'd rather forget about. You might have better luck asking Bobby. A lot of the old crew stayed on when he took over. Wait a second. That reminds me. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Any information you have could be useful, Miss Cartwright. 
I I just realized that Costa and Cartwright both start with a C, but that's probably just nothing. Well, I think Bobby's mother was called Alexandra. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I remember now. He introduced me to her at an event. Sorry, it's my agent. You know how it is. Will you excuse me? And she's going to be right back. Yup. <laughs> Let's talk to our favorite guy over here. I hear your suspect was released without charge. You seem to be making a habit of this honor. I was wrong about Bobby. I was wrong about Bobby. I admit that, but I'm not giving up. Good for you. I hear the detective even gave you a special assignment. <laughs> we already solved it. Now we're looking for the murderer again. Is that so? Well, I'm sure you'll do your best. <laughs> He's taunting us. Oh my gosh. I heard you talking to Kathleen about the poisoning. What do you make of it? Wait. So they were talking about the poisoning. Yet we haven't told them that he was poisoned. And she definitely reacted like she didn't know. Huh. Something to keep in mind. I don't think Bobby did it if that's what you're asking. That doesn't leave many suspects. Kathleen, Becky, you. Watch it, binary boy. You've got nothing on me and you know it. <laughs> he was uh, quick to the draw there. Besides, if I'd killed Dick, do you really think I'd be stupid enough to hang around afterwards? The kid is probably long gone by now. They can't leave, though. Because the building's on lockdown. I'm not so sure. Something tells me this thing with Dick was personal. They might be sticking around to see how it plays out, how things play out. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you're a psychologist now, as well as a detective. Can, can I just... Uh, let's try a couple things here. Isn't that Dick's PDA? That 50,000... Oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay, I wonder how he's going to react to this. That 50,000 business arrangement of yours. That was for Dick, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Ryan. I've got the data right here. That's why you met up with him earlier, isn't it? Oh, are we bluffing that his name is on it? Because that's a ballsy move. You paid him off. You had Murder Mystery disqualified from Starshine Awards. Get ready, Scout. Honor's got another one of her wild theories. You've got no evidence. Is my name anywhere on that spreadsheet? I don't think so. What do you mean, spreadsheet? <laughs> we haven't said anything about a spreadsheet. Anyway, maybe not, but it's pretty convenient that Dick was murdered before any of this went public, isn't it? Are you actually suggesting I murdered him? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? You know, you're never going to be happy if you can't learn to trust people. I want to punch him so bad. I... How about you leave the investigating to the cops and let me take you home? You're tired. I am not getting in the car with you, bruh. No, I know what I'm doing, Ryan. You're not gaslighting me, bruh. I've got the evidence right here on this PDA. I told you that you paid 50000 to an anonymous account. You were seen arguing with Dick. Maybe your name isn't written down, but I know you, Ryan. This has your fingerprints all over it. Your inventive connections that aren't there. How am I supposed to talk to you when you're acting like this? Huh. This is uh, interesting. I knew it was going to escalate real bad. I knew there was a reason he was here tonight. Is he always like this? Pretty much. When everything starts looking good for me, he finds some way to tear it down. Why did you marry him? <laughs> it was different. He was different. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm really here for it. At the start, he was so kind. So attentive. He made me feel like I was the most important thing in the world. Then we got married. And suddenly, he changed. He was more critical, more volatile. I was always walking on eggshells around him. If he was happy, it was because I had done something right. And if he was mad, well, that was my fault too. I was the center of his universe. My universe was shrinking by the day. I stopped seeing friends, family, he even wanted me to quit the show. And if I ever tried to bring it up with him, he'd say I was imagining it. <laughs> Sounds like toxic masculinity to a T right there. 
Luckily, KC worked out what was going on and made me snap out of it. KC, KC, so, he's so good. It took a long time, but I got away eventually. I am glad you distanced yourself from him. Apparently, it wasn't far enough. Or it was too far and he wants back. <laughs> If Honor was the center of his universe and then she got out of it, that does that means that nothing really changed for him. She is still the center of his universe, but she's not married anymore to him. So that's definitely the recipe for like obsessive behavior, trying to get her back in some way. So I guess he's also stuck between being really mad that that she had the calls to dump him because toxic masculinity. And also like, but I want you back because you're my universe. Hmm. Yeah. This 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 sounds like a recipe for disaster. I think it's time we reviewed the new evidence. Okay. Agreed. Ryan is now a quite a convincing suspect. That spreadsheet suggests he paid Dick to rig the Starshine Awards. Kathleen saw them arguing earlier, so maybe the deal didn't go smoothly. Okay, but... I don't... Is that a reason to kill someone? Because he paid 50000 and Stanford didn't honor it. Then, yeah. But we did not win an award. So the deal was honored. And it seems like he, don't, he doesn't know Dick personally. At least I don't see a connection here. So I don't think Ryan actually did it. Maybe Dick tried to increase the price or threatened to go public. And Ryan killed him to protect himself? But he's not the only suspect. There's also the matter of Alex Costa. Right. Dick was trying to keep Alex from going to the press about him. He almost succeeded, but Celeb Live still printed the accusations as rumors. That could have been enough to stoke a fire between those two. Maybe Alex poisoned Dick to get revenge. But is that person here? We don't even know. The only problem with that angle is that we don't know where Alex is, exactly. Right now the question isn't where, but who. No one seems to have heard of Alex Costa. It's it's a pseudonym, I'm pretty sure. What if he's not even a real person? First it's people saying things they don't mean. Now it's people who aren't actually real? Humans are so confusing. True that. <laughs> no, there's a real person behind it. I think Alex Costa is a fake name. Whoever it is didn't want to risk getting found out. And they've been right here the whole time. So it could still be Kathleen using Alex Costa as, as a pseudonym. Yeah, but I'm pretty convinced. She's not an option? Okay, it's someone who knows that he wasn't a nice person on the in the workspace. But it's not Ryan. And it's not Becky either. It has to be Bobby. Bobby is Alex Costa. Dick was sabotaging Bobby's TV show. This was his way of getting revenge. A solid motive. But can you be sure? We've already had Bobby arrested once and we were wrong. Maybe we weren't. Oh no. Are we going to go to Detective Cross and be like, actually, Bobby did do it. And he's like, what? <laughs> no, please. Maybe he knew Dick was poisoned and strangled him to finish the job. It makes no sense on her. Not to mention, Kathleen said she thinks Bobby's mother is called Alexandra. Alexandra Price, Alex Costa. Of course, Price cost. No! Please, dear, dear anything, please, no. <laughs> it all fits. In that case, the only remaining uncertainty is how he poisoned Dick. I, I suggest we try and find Bobby. He may reveal more under the pressure of this new evidence. Becky said he spoke to her uh, after he was released. We should see if she knows where he is. Oh. Wait, that's the, that's the lady from the flashback from Scout. And they obviously remember each other because they're looking right at each other now with like, oh, oh my gosh, expressions. Huh, what is she doing here? Maybe she's looking for Scout? Ah, uh, can I help you? Okay, why is she here? Huh, that was weird. Honor, I... 
What? Is something wrong? What? What? Why is Kao this advanced? To not tell us. What? Oh, uh, this it's kind of creepy actually that he's that advanced. No, it's nothing. Just a sensor glitch. We should look for Becky. Becky, are you there? Dang, she was here a minute ago. Let's see if we can investigate and do like maybe one more puzzle and then we should end the episode, I think. Maybe Becky is hidden here. I don't know why she would be, but okay, let's do this. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs from this from this game. So relaxing and yet a beat. It's it's great. I love it. This should be it. Wait, what? Oh no, I made a mistake somewhere. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Um. Wait. Okay. Uh. Ooh, I'm confused. Oh no. What did I do wrong? No! I don't like it. Uh. You know what? I'll start over. No. All right. Let's do this again. I I am still doing the exact same things I did before. So I don't know where I went wrong. Okay. This is different. I I did something different now. Let's see. So this should be there and there. It looks so completely different now. Oh wow, that, that made a huge difference at the end there. Makeup. How strange. It's a mirror mounted in a small plastic case with a disc of compressed powder. It's called blush. You put it on your face. Is it some kind of disguise? No, it's just makeup. Oh, I was hoping we might have to disguise ourselves like in the movies. I've watched too many movies. I could put on some of this blush to show you if you want, although it looks pretty expensive. Also, I would not use makeup that's been used by other people. Honor, wait! What's the problem? My sensors are reporting a critical warning, which means that there is a high risk of mortality. What? Oh, where? From that object, the makeup. It's extremely dangerous. This is going to be a red herring, right? It doesn't look dangerous. Are you sure? Wait, is the poison in the makeup? Yes, although I'm unsure as to the specific reason, the warning was invoked from a previously inaccessible area of my memory. Is this the intuition Detective Cross talks about? Am I having a hunch? <laughs> One moment, I'll try to run a backtrace and identify it. Processing, recovering data. A stack backtrace suggests... The warning handler was invoked by a routine called identify underscore toxin. Yep. The, the poison is in. Oh, I did not expect that. I thought it would be in the flowers. Oh, so then it could definitely be other people now. Honor, please use extreme caution. That blush contains a powerful neurotoxin. What? It seems this routine was somehow invoked automatically by my sensor array. The contents of the routine are obscured to me, but it references a database, which seems to contain a list of toxins. Interesting that he has that database, by the way. But in other words, I think we just found the poison that killed Dink Stanford. Nice. I'm glad we, we did one more investigation, because I would not have wanted to miss this in this episode. Do you really think his makeup was what killed Dick? My toxin detection routine reports the probability at around 99.89%. There, there seem to be quite a few things you don't know you can do, Scout. Hacking, and now an encyclopedic knowledge of poisons? Yes, I think it might be a side effect of my memory corruption. Who do you think this makeup could belong to? Also, am I going to take over the world? Probably, because I have way too many functions. <laughs> well, Becky was the last person we saw back here. In which case, either she's working with Bobby, or she accidentally came into contact with the neurotoxin. Or there's another person we haven't met yet. I don't know if they'll do this, but there's another person that we haven't met yet who is the makeup artist here. Either way, we'd better find her fast. 
but she doesn't seem to be in the building. We've checked every... <gasps> Did Becky use the makeup? Because... Wait, no, we saw her at the beginning of this episode, so... But she was here, so she could have found the makeup here. Oh, no. Because I was thinking she's been in the bathroom the entire time, so I was afraid that she'd already been poisoned, but... She seemed to be fine when we were here. Hmm. Not every room. We haven't checked the women's restroom. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you waiting for? People frequently refer to me as a guy. Wouldn't that suggest I'm not allowed in a women's restroom? It's fine, I give you permission. There we go. I like Scout this way. <laughs> um, women's restroom. Scout can go anywhere. Scout is fine. But we'll have to uh, wait with our little exciting adventure to the women's restroom for the next episode. I hope Becky's okay. I really hope she's okay. I don't think they would do anything for, to her because she seems like a pretty important character that's going to have a lot of development later on. Um, wow. I, I asked for more puzzles. We got more puzzles. I asked for more progress on the case and we definitely got that. So I... I don't know how I feel about Bobby being the culprit again now. Like, I feel like, okay, he's been uh, he's been found guilty and now he's been found innocent and that should be it. <laughs> now, now we're going to do the route again of Bobby did actually do it. And I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I I still think it's Kathleen, but um, I, th there might just be another like fifth person who did the makeup around here that may have done it like a crew member but i feel like we should have been more exposed to that person if that was the case um unless the 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 science woman <laughs> is the makeup artist here but i highly doubt that uh, i think she was just like a little hint for next cases that we'll see her more often um man a lot happened let's uh let's um like consume that a little bit and let it simmer a little bit in our heads and uh see what we can come up with next episode Thank you so much for watching. Doi doi.